right. <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wakar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings be unto the hopeful elect pushing his truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in his sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days all right um this is the bobby akanan from the gms england branch and um you know this is going to be a a brief video in transit edition video you know as you can see you know apologies for the lighting um, you know, it's very dark where I'm at right now, you know, on these roads. But, um, you know, Lord willing, <clears throat> you know, this video will be edifying. Now, um, inspiration is drawn from, you know, the latest uh, bug outs that have, um, you know, manifested in the last months that have been um, going, you know, extremely left concerning, you know, the things they've been uttering out of their mouth and, you know, spiritually vomiting everything that they've learned from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know? And, um, you know, really... You know, we've, we've um, seen examples of, you know, men that become disenchanted and have the spirit taken away from them time and time again, you know? So this is nothing new. You know, this is something that we've seen many times and every time you see it, it never fails to put fear, you know, within your own spirit and um, pray you know, to you, how about Shimmy how shy that you don't suffer, you know, the same fate. Okay, because the Lord can take away, you know, the Holy Spirit away from you, man. All right, the Lord can take away the Holy Spirit away from you. He can take away that spirit of understanding. He can take away that spirit of prophecy from out of your essence. Okay, and that's a very, very fearful thing. So when you see, you know, men that fall out and they start going against their teachers, all right, going against the men that Yahweh Shem Yahweh has set up to feed them with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through the Spirit, all right, that's a terrible thing. And like I said, it's a very fearful thing. And that's why the scriptures say it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power, Yahweh but Hashem Yahweh Shai It's a terrible thing Okay One You know One moment You can be making Edifying videos You know Edifying the flock Speaking according To the spirit of Yahweh But Hashem Yahweh Shai And then the next moment You can be scoffing Okay You can be changing up You know The doctrine Alright And you can be going Against your own teachers And saying All manner of abominable filth out of your lips okay that's a terrible and fearful thing and that's something that we need to um definitely pray to you how about shimmy i was shy that we never suffer the same faith all right and we have a great example of our king king david all right in psalms 51 where he prayed to the heavenly father not to take away his holy spirit away from him all right it's very important to pray that prayer pray that psalms 51 okay and if you can pray it in the hebrew in the lashawan kodash in the holy tongue then do so in, in in the hebrew and if you don't know it you know learn it you know if you don't know it learn it i believe it it took me around you know um two two days a day and a half you know to learn it one day you know many years ago you know i, I had my mindset on really learning it you know so i could pray 
in the Lush One Dash, you know, that Psalms 51, specifically from uh, verse 11 on down, I believe it is. All right, and you know, the brother, um, the elder, um, I believe his channel was GMS Army 144. Um, I believe that's where I got it from. You know, he, you know, he's very, um, the Lord has put the spirit on him, you know, to make videos concerning Hebrew prayers. You know? So you can go to that, you know, I, I believe the, the elder's name is Elder McGunn or Mother Gun, if I'm not mistaken. You know, Salakia, if I, I've got it wrong. But I believe it's something along, you know, those lines. But he's, he's, I believe his channel is um, GMS Army 144, if I'm not mistaken. You know? And you can just, you know, type it in the search bar, any, you know, Pacific prayer you're looking for. And um, more than likely, you know, that, that elder has covered it. You know, but it's very important to pray that Psalms 51. All right, to pray to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to keep our Holy Spirit intact. Let me try to turn on this light. I'm on the motorway now. All right, beautiful. Call out Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You know, I don't usually like driving with the the lights on. You know, it attracts um, attention to you. But you know, for the course of this video, you know, I'll just leave it on. You know, throughout. But as I was saying, you know, that, that elder makes uh, beautiful videos going into the Hebrew prayers, you know. So it's very important, especially in these last days, that we pray to Yahweh Shem Shai to retain our spirit within us, our Holy Spirit, our spirit of understanding. Okay, the name's Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai. Because that's what's going to keep us stable in these last days. That's what's going to... Um, as the scriptures say, you know, continue in the things that thou have learned and be assured of whom thou learned them from. You know, that's what the scriptures say. Okay? So the things that you've learned from the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, continue in those things and don't give heed to itching, to itching ears and doctrines of devils. Okay? Because that's exactly what's been happening, all right, to um, a lot of guys. They give heed to them doctrines of devils. Okay, and before you know it, they way out there, all right, outside of the um, of the brotherhood, outside of the ministry, outside of the true understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And as the scriptures tell us, they wax worse and worse. Okay, and that's why they start, you know, changing up, you know, what they've learned, changing up the doctrine. You know, they might start saying that, you know, the, the sign, the twelve times chart, is not accurate. You know, they start changing up, you know, the um, holy interpretation of the scriptures, which is of no private interpretation, all right? But because they've lost the oil, you know, it's been stripped away from them, okay? They wax worse and worse. They get more and more demonic as time goes by, okay? And that's a very, very fearful thing. Like I said, one moment, you know, you, you can be breaking down scriptures, going into prophecy the right the right way, and then the next moment, you are you, you you're spiritually vomiting. Okay, and I believe it's in um, either First Peter's or Second Peter's where it makes the comparison of um, you know the dog going back to its vomit. All right, which is you basically going back to the abominable ways, you know, of the world, you know, to the filth of the world, you know, and, and licking it back up, all right, licking up, you know, the, the corrupted, you know, information and philosophies of this world and spewing out the wisdom, knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But we understand that that all goes back to the Lord, man. Okay, whether you retain the Holy Spirit or not, goes back to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? And that's why it's so important, you know, to pray. You know, pray to your Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that you can endure to the end. Pray that you never fall out. Pray that you never lose faith. Pray that you never lose patience. The scriptures say, woe unto them that have lost patience. All right? You don't want to be in that congregation of the dead, man. All right? Because the heavy judgment is going to be coming for those that have fallen out of the truth. Okay? For those that have... um you know, sought to pervert the words of Yahweh Shimei Shai, because that's exactly what you're doing. 
okay? You're going back into the pollutions of the world. And that's also in the book of, uh, it might be uh, uh, Second Peters or First Peters, if I'm not mistaken, all right? But you can look it up. You know, pollutions of the world and the scripture will come up. I'm pretty sure it's in the book of Peters, all right? One of the, the, the book of Peters, okay? So this is a deadly, you know, serious thing. Because what you're witnessing, you know, is a whole different spirit upon these individuals that fall out. You know, a filthy, degenerate spirit that has overthrown them, you know? And it's just like, you know, the story of uh, King Saul and King David, all right? Because the Lord sent, and actually tells you that in the scriptures, that the Lord sent, all right, an evil spirit upon King Saul, okay? The Lord sent that upon King Saul, man. All right, and you saw, you know, the hate and the um, animosity and the envy, all right, that King Saul had towards King David. And the uprightness of King David, all right, really affected uh, King Saul, okay? And it's the same, you know, with these guys that fall out of the faith, all right? They, they hate, they hate the men of the Lord. All right, they hate the true understanding of Yahweh Bar Shimei Shai, but ultimately, all right, and first and foremost, they hate Yahweh Shai. They hate Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and that's why, if you notice, all right, when these guys fall out, what do they do? They all congregate together. When you check out the comment boards, you see all manner of different scoffers from the past, present, <laughs> and future congregating together on the comment boards. All right. As if, you know, to applaud, applaud, you know, particular men for leaving, you know, Great Millstone, for leaving, you know, the congregation where the true understanding of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai is held. And then the, and then the other, um, you know, men that teach the same thing. Okay? And they congregate together. And they applaud, you know, each other. And the, the, the bugged out thing about it is that many of these, you know, bug out some fallouts. All right? They have different philosophies. Many of them don't even agree with each other. But as long as they agree with going against the men of Great Millstone, then they can congregate. They can put their differences aside. And the scriptures say can two walk together except they be agreed. That's proof that they're demons. It's a, it's a natural spirit. It's a demonic spirit on these guys, man. Okay? It's a demonic spirit on these guys that makes them come against the true understanding of Yahweh Bar Shimei Abishai, man. Okay, and again, that is a terrible and fearful thing to witness. And I pray to you, how about Shimmy Shai, that I never lose the Holy Spirit, man. That I never, you know, lose the true understanding of Yahweh about Shimmy Shai. That I never, you know, lose the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, and the ability to pray to those names and believe in those names, man. And we all need to pray the same thing, man. You know, because as things, you know, heat up and as we draw closer to the end. Of this man's kingdom, things are going to intensify, man. All right, and that's why Yahweh Shai said to Simon Peter, "You know, Satan have desired to have, to have you, but I pray for thee that thy faith fail not." You know, so Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, the Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, our Savior, is praying for us, man. All right, that we don't lose the spirit and we don't fall out. All right, so with that, you know, Lord willing. This uh, video was edifying, and until the next time, I'll say Shalom.